Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Sileo Tales of a New Dawn. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on HIO. And if you want to support the people that make this game and or get the newest version earlier, you can go through Patreon. And it's five dollars a month. So, on the last Let's Play, we went to Ty's house. And Ty explained that to increase Diego's, I can't think of the word for it, not ego, uh, self-esteem, that's it, jeez, that we should help him train for the, the fighting competition and do the fighting competition, which he was in last year. Also, he gave us a bunch of money to get gym equipment because this guy is like, the sh the sugar daddy without any of the obligations, I guess. He's just like, oh, he needs self esteem built. Here's money for your own personal gyms. Like, okay. I I don't know if I could like to help him. Sure, but it's getting a whole bunch of money for that. Just I don't know. Anyways, um, especially if he's your employer, you know. I don't know. Though I guess, and friend, it's just a lot of emotional making me feel uncomfortable. But anyways, then we went swimming in the cold water with uh, what's his name called uh, Axel and Eric. And apparently Eric has a humongous ego. I mean, I guess he does have a big ego, but you know what I'm getting at. Anyways, let's go back here. And check my face. Dago, are you still here? Huh? Yeah, of course. What's up? We're going out. Come with me. What? Where are we going? I, uh, I want to go shopping. A little retail therapy, eh? I didn't know you were the type. I practically dragged Diego out of the house, forcing him to come along with me. We arrived at a sporting goods store, where I made a beeline for the aisles containing home workout equipment. Now what would this entail, like a Bowflex or something like that? I remember my dad getting that a long time ago. Never saw him use it. And a, uh, treadmill? Well, he didn't get a treadmill. Probably should've. Well, there's, oh, we do live in East Texas. You're buying gym equipment? Didn't you have a membership at the actual gym? And a trial. Besides, knowing what's there. Well, he hangs out. I He hangs out? I don't really want to go back. Alright, I guess I can't fault you for that. I mean, personally, I would just be like... I would just, you know, money aside, I would, pers I would just work out there to be like, Hey, I'm here. You can just fuck off. You know? To, uh, this guy's ex. And, say, you just have a membership, don't you? I mean, technically. Well, you know better than I would. How about you pick out what you think we'll need? And, when we can't, and then, we can just make our own gym back home? How are you gonna afford that? And some money aside. Don't worry about it. His expression on Diego's face suggested suspicion. I wasn't a particularly good liar. Sorry, between last Let's Play and this Let's Play, I did go over to the gym for the first time in maybe a week. Couldn't go because I injured myself quite hardly, skin-wise. Nonetheless, he decided against Brian further and led me to the shelf lined with dumbbells. So if I had to pick out gym equipment, it would be, and you know, money and especially space was available. I mean, money is available, but space isn't, and I also have a gym membership. It would be a treadmill, definitely that. A, um, free weights, preferably the one that has like the dial and hopefully it goes up to at least 115, you know, each, because, you know, I work out quite a bit. Uh, something to pull up. The little wheelie thing that you hold on to and move about the mat. Oh, and 
One of those little uh, squat machines, but the ones where you lay on your back. I don't do the ones where you stand up. I would feel like I would go tush over tea kettle. Well, we should definitely start with a set of these. A staple of every gym. Which ones? Hmm. Well, there's this set here. They're a good price and come with a bunch of different weights. Or there's these. They're more expensive, but more comfortable to hold on account on account of the grips and have a wider selection of weights. Okay, let's get those. Really now? $80 dumbbells? So are those the expensive or the cheap ones? Yeah, why not? It smells fishy. You up to something? Because, like... Di didn't he say it's a wire selection? I'd have to assume he's talking about those things where you turn a dial and it adds more weight to it. $80 doesn't seem like a lot, because I think I saw it, looked at those ones, and they were like several hundred dollars. They weren't cheap. What do you mean? I just appreciate quality goods. Painfully obvious excuse for a dirty joke. Painfully obvious excuse for a dir dirty joke aside. That's not like you. Fess up. I really hadn't thought this through. It was true. I was usually a little tighter on my wallet. But Ty's cash injection, ooh, um, permit me to spend a little more freely. Rather than argue the point, I conceded and pulled the poster of the tournament from my pocket, handing it to him. Huh? The Woodcrest Combat Cup? I didn't know you signed up. I haven't. Well, you're gonna have a tough time. Entries are closed. Actually, I was more thinking you could participate. Me? Why? I heard you did pretty well last year. I think it'd be great for you. But the entries are closed. Don't worry, I've secured a place for you. If you want to, of course. Hold on. So the equipment we're buying... It, I mean, don't get me wrong. I want to use it too, but... You're buying it for me? I, I don't know what to say. You also got me that console. But I don't know about this man. I'm really out of shape. And there's like almost no time left to train for it. Yeah, like if it's on day 20, that's like math 12, 7, 14. A bit shorter than two weeks to do it. But uh, yeah. if I was going to if I was going to train for him, I'd get a punching bag, you know, or whatever fighty people do. Come on, y you know, kind of train your body, but mo mostly train your mind and reflexes. Come on, I think you'd do great. We can be training buddies. Not, not that I'll be participating, but it's a great excuse to maintain my, my fitness. That does sound kind of fun, but I'm way too fat for this. I uh, guess that makes you harder to topple. You're actually not wrong about that. See? It's a great idea. I don't know, man. It's such short notice. Come on, you'll do great. And, uh, you said you're going to find somewhere else to live, right? Wait, somewhere else to live? I'd assume you'd want to take the equipment with you. You said you were going to find somewhere else to live? I'd forgotten all about my plans to move out. Honestly, being reminded of it kind of hurt. I don't remember that, actually. I guess when everything had happened between Diego and with everything that happened between Diego and I, I really didn't want to move out anymore. Sorry, I guess you'd forgotten about that. Oh no, don't worry about it. I guess it hadn't crossed my mind for a bit. You can stay as long as light. Like, you know that, right? Hey, don't tell me that, or I might stay forever. Tss. Your face! It told... It said everything right there. <laughs> yeah. The conversation suddenly got rather awkward. I figured we'd be best to change the topic. Anyway, we do it? What? Tournament? Yeah. Pretty please. Do it for me. I really don't get why you want me to so badly. 
But I guess I can do it if we'll stop you your nagging. Yay! No promises. I will do good at, I'll do good though. Okay? Gotcha. I will hopefully do better than Amicus did in that one fight with the uh, older guy. Not meaning the one from Adaster, the uh, one from Intera, I think. I think this is supposed to come out after that video. Dago still seem actually yeah it should. Dago still seemed unsure about the tournament, but agreed to participate. A bit unenthusiastically. So far, the plan was working. So uh we're gonna need one of these benches and a straight bar. I know I ain't boxing, but a punching bag and some gloves would come in handy. Oh, and kettlebells. And a mat. Oh, and never used a kettlebell or not you know seriously also never used a barbell because I use dumbbells to do bench presses and stuff but um it's our crest to his tournament participation Diego was particularly enthusiastic when it came to burning a hole in my wallet I could practically see dollar signs bouncing around in my head I hope that tie had given me would give me was soon enough uh, would be enough. So yeah, I don't use a barbell, except like when somebody was like, when see how strong I was. But um, I don't. I would never want to use that because like if my arms gave way, that thing's going on me. If my arm gives way with dumbbells, yes, then um, I might get a shoulder injury. But uh, the rest of me will be fine. Let's uh, do this. Make sure. Oop, too high. We're right back home with the delivery van in hot pursuit. After all, neither of us had a car, and we bought way too much heavy equipment to have any hope of getting it home ourselves. The delivery guy lugged her purchases inside between several trips, leaving them on the lounge floor. Once he'd finished, he waved us goodbye before returning to his van and driving off. Well, we definitely won't be needing a, the gym anytime soon. Thank goodness for that. I didn't much fancy getting sweaty in front of a gross lizard anyway. Also, can we j cancel your gym membership? Because, you know, you, you never want to keep that going. If you're not using it. I'd rather get... S you'd rather get sweaty in front of me? Huh? Absolutely. Jeez, guys get a room. Or a house. Diego merely chuckled, and began assembling a pair of dumbbells before passing them to Diego. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. I want to see what you've got. That's very forward of you, Ulu. Not like that. I mean... Oh, so you don't then? I... I uh... <laughs> Look on your face. I'm just screwing with you. Don't worry. You dick. You owe me like 20 reps, each hand, right now. Right now? Right now. Sir, yes sir. Diego removed his shirt and began his repetitions, lifting each dumbbell in a horizontal position and altering the hand between reps. I knew he was still unsure about the tournament, but happy to see he was at least playing along. If anything, it was all a good distraction for him. Perhaps Ty was into something, onto something after all. Boobies. 1920. More movies? Alright, your turn. Me? You said you trained me. You can't chicken out now. Jeez, if only all coaches trained as much. Because you ever, you ever seen those like coaches that look like they've never done any exercise in their life, yet f will also, at the same time, just like run kids into the dirt? I guess that's mostly like, what, football coaches or something? I don't know. Didn't play football, thankfully. We... he was right, after all. But I loaded up weights for him. There was no way my comparatively measly arms could lift such a weight. Come on, let's go. It would make sense to lower the weight. It... I was nowhere near as strong as Diego. Start light, start right. Go for something challenging, but not too extreme. Match Diego's weight. I ain't no pansy. 
I mean, my mentor thinks is that my uh, maybe thinks is that, but let three out of two out of my three things says go for something challenging but not too extreme. Try that. I took a few smaller discs off, just in the dumbbells, to wait. I thought would be appropriate. Oh, maybe they're those things where it's like just a small barbell and then there's like some circular weight and then kind of like a tightening screw on the end of them. One, two, three. I think I really need to do is improve my form and go more slowly. Cause man, doing things slower, like really slow can be super challenging. Diego merely looked on approvingly. His eyes fall my repetitions. He wore a big, dumb smile on his face. It's kind of adorable. Seven, eight. So far, so good. You're doing great. Twelve, thirteen. As I approached the rest of my sets, I felt a steady burn grow in my biceps. I'd chosen my weight well. Nineteen, twenty. Good work. How was that? I can't quite. I, I can't quite keep up with you. I'd say it was rather good workout. So, what next? I know, you're the beefcake. Been a while since someone called me that. How about chest press? Sure. Diego set up a bench and loaded weights onto a straight bar. He then lay uh, down face up, held the bar just above his chest, and began his repetitions. One, two, three. The same big dumb smile hadn't left Diego's face. He was enjoying this. I knew he was strong, but seeing his muscles flex as he performed his exercises was breathtaking. 9, 10, 11. With every repetition, the muscles in the shoulders became increasingly defined. His pectorals seemed to grow rock hard, ooh woo, with each lift of the bar. And to think, I thought those were, they were mostly fat. 14, 15. To be honest, I never been more hot on Diego than it was in that exact moment, seeing him genuinely enjoying himself and seeing, well, all of that. My heart was a flutter. Nineteen, twenty. How was that? Okay, get in the bedroom. We're gonna do some squats or whatever, pelvic thrusts. Amazing. Nice work, Diego. You like that, huh? Of course. Maybe a little too much. Huh? I looked down. It appeared I was pitching a tent. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it will. 30. Diego placed the kettlebell on the ground next to him and climbed to his feet. I'd say it's a job well done for today. Don't you think? I mean, I guess... I guess for, like, kettlebells, it would be, like, on your... You could hold it to your sides and do stuff, or you could put it in between your legs and, you know, do squats. Y yeah. My in insistence on performing the same exercise as Diego was a terrible mistake. Nearly every muscle in my body was screaming in pain. Hopefully you guys got, like, protein shakes, or at the very least, you know, some food with protein injection. That isn't, you know, too unhealthy. It's like, burgers? Pretty good. Set? Okay, that's from the game. Um, burgers? Pr plenty of protein. But not the healthiest thing. You know, this was a pretty good idea. I had a great time. That was what I was hoping for. Thanks for this. I appreciate it. So, you you will participate in the tournament? On three conditions. Oh, what are those? First, you keep working out with me like this. Most fun I've had, working out in nearly a year, maybe. Alright, deal. What's your second condition? Tell me where you got the entry form. They've been closed for weeks. Someone must have given up their spot. I couldn't really see how I could warm out the way out of telling them at this point, but being a condition for his participation, I figured it wouldn't hurt to clue him in, clue him in if only a little. Well, Ty might have given up his spot for you. Thought so. I bet it was his idea in the first place, huh? Uh, don't worry. I thought it probably was when you first brought it up, and had all this money to spend on equipment. Sorry, I wasn't honest about it. It's okay. 
Taya was always looking out for me like that. He's a good guy. Interesting that he'd ask you to help, though. You must think we're in let. Hey, Diego, let's get food. Now we're talking my language. Or you're talking my language. Phew. Works every time. Diego, burr! And a little money left over from what Ty had given me earlier. As such, I opted to take Diego somewhere fancy rather than our usual fast food outings. And last, being so new to town, there's only one new fancy place I knew of. Or one fancy place. Let me guess, Ty's? We got time. Yep, Ty's. Kerbal Space Program! Gentlemen, what a surprise. Huh? I thought you were off today. And let me just shake my face. Ah, yes. Well, you know how sickness has been lately. How sickness has been lately? I was happy to respond to, an, to a call of duty. Oh, so there's someone else that works here? Could have called either of us, you know. We're both off today. Nonsense. I'm sure the two of you had a most productive day. You both deserve the time anyway. Taylor looked over at me and winked. Not knowing Diego had figured out his plan, Diego gave Ty a nudge. Definitely. With all that training I'm doing now, that I'm, uh, that I'm taking your place in the competition. Right, boss? Oh, you know? I knew something was up. The poster had, gen had been conveniently popping up all over the bar over the last week. Imagine my surprise when Adrian presented me with the very same poster. I recognized the stain in the corner from when I spilled vodka on it. So, oh, so that's why they brought up the stain, like, at Let's Play Go. And also, wait, it's been, popped up over the last week, but it's been closed for a week. Ah, I should have known. Fooling you would not be so easy. I hope you can forgive my meddling. Oh, I hope you can forgive me trying to increase your self-esteem and buying a whole bunch of, you know, free gym equipment and stuff. Giving up my spot. I, I'm not saying that there's some kind of underlying non-goodness about him, but like, I'm, I'm guessing, how would I put this? I feel like... Ty might have had something kind of rougher in his past that might have made that makes him more inclined to act, you know, like this. Kind of like um with Diego. Like maybe he was hurt. I mean we'll have to see when he do his route. Anyways, it's okay. And in Adrian's credit, he tried to keep it a secret. I'm just too good. Besides, I had a fun day. The least I could do is give the tournament a shot, right? Well, it heartens me. It heartens me to hear you will. To hear. It heartens me to hear you will. Well? I want to just take a picture of that, just in case. I believe you will do, the ver do very well indeed. Anyway, what brings the two of you here? I'm buying Diego dinner tonight. A reward for his hard work and a celebration of him joining the tournament. Ah, post-workout dinner. I'd be sure to add more protein. Don't worry, it will be my treat. You're giving us too much treats. Diego began salivating at thought of additional meat. Shall I take your order then? Of course, I'll have... Following our meals, Diego and I began our walk home, but decided to stop far away at one of the bridges to let the food settle before we made the rest of the journey. Yeah, I guess you don't want cramps. Hey, thanks for dinner, by the way. It's alright, you earned it. And I guess thanks for pushing me to do this. Finding the will to do, well, anything really has been tough lately. Boy, do I know that. I know, it's been tough seeing you like that. I knew you were hurting, even before you told me everything. I just wanted to find a way to help you feel better. When Ty suggested the tournament, I was a little skeptical. I didn't know how difficult it would be to get you on board. Likely, I'm a sucker for a good workout, huh? 
You're a total sucker. Heh, <laughs> shut up. Still, today was fun. I hope we can keep it up. It was. I got to keep it. Keep at it. it gotta keep at it if I want to stand a chance at this tournament, right? And, if I'm honest, there's nobody I'd rather have as a workout buddy. Same. Not that I'm participating, but I'm enjoying myself. And you know, I do, I do anything to help you, right? So you say, but you haven't even heard my third condition yet. Oh yeah, we completely forgot about that. Uh, oh, right. That's right, Diego said there are three conditions. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Exercising makes you kind of tired. And, you know, eating a whole bunch of food. I only heard the first two. Let me guess, is it tell, confess my feelings? Well, did you, uh, did you want to tell me? Yeah, hmm, I, uh, Diego cleared his throat. I remember earlier at the sports shop? Yeah. I brought up moving, I brought up you moving out. Yeah, yeah, that did come up. Diego went silent. I noticed he was looking at his feet, avoiding eye contact. Do, do you want me to go? N no. Please. Please don't go. I could see the beginning of tears forming in his eyes as he said it. I suspected this had been going, had been something that had been on his mind for a while now. I knew how he felt. I knew how I felt. I knew that if I had the choice, I would stay. There was nowhere else I'd rather be than living with him, than by his side, than with him. Now stay, as long as you want me to. I, I will. Diego couldn't form the words to respond. I was watching his face intensely, so when his hand gently wrapped around mine, I was taken by surprise. Diego stifled, uh, sniffed while giving my hand a gentle squeeze. I turned the squeeze, hoping that would speak for itself. It did, with a cheerful smile, as a cheerful smile spread across his face. Despite knowing each other for so long, I'd never seen Diego this vulnerable. He was the type to act like a tough guy, his emotions always particularly well guarded. He'd been, we'd been best friends for years, but now I felt I was beginning to truly understand him, to comprehend the depths of his person and truly make a connection with him. No one personally, ego or friendship, not one of personality, ego or friendship, but of heart. At that moment, there was nowhere I'd have rather been and nobody I would rather be with. For such a simple moment, it felt magical, and I knew Diego felt the, the exact same way. And two of us sat there for some time, soothed by the sounds of the river lapping on the shore below us. Finally, the two of us departed, then finished our journey back home to retire for the night. Day. Night. And with that, I'm going to call it Good Times Had by All. So, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. So, please comment, guys, I can comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, and otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please subscribe and check out the videos have it grow. Please remember to spay new animals to control the pit population. Also, oh, I'll also say, you know, if you want to play this game, it's on the channel for free. But if you want to support them or get the most updated version earlier, go with their Patreon, five dollars. There's something I do want to add. I'm feeling kind of like with this game, and also Don Chorus. It's kind of weird picking people's roots, playing them, and then switching to someone else. Like, you know, in real life, that's kind of how it is, or something like that. Well, not the, uh, switching to someone else, but the, uh, you know, the people have their own lives going, it's like, how does, you know, in Don Chorus, and, well, the video's out already. Um, when Rune, on day two, has that kind of, like, emotional breakdown because he, because the basketball coach didn't put him, you know, on the team to show off. Um, 
how how will he you know I mean he'll get through it I guess but still it's kind of like how like another thing uh, Diego here he's just an undoing tool or he was like is he going to encounter car six or thar six and the um thing he's gonna have emotional breakdown and we are not gonna be so much so in the picture for him there i mean he might be in the picture for him there but we might be spending it with the his name i don't know it's like how does that work you know god i I nearly forgot how much my body just pumps out fuck tons of heat after an exercise. And I'm not mean directly after an exercise, I mean like, actually my body's like, okay, we exercise, we're gonna repair stuff and burn stuff. Uh, there's lots of metabolism going on, and it pumps out so much fucking heat. Like, what is the temperature in the room here? You no, know, it's 72 degrees, and I feel like I'm sweating bowels. And it's not really humid either. Anyways, end of this, let's play. And until next time. Sorry, yawns. On to the let's play. Game of 6 of Silio, Tales of a New Dawn. So thanks and see ya.